there's life in it. Without light, there's no life. But darkness is death. Look at the trees. The trees need uh, uh, the sun to be able to live. Man. You know? Vegetation, and even us humans, we need light to, to, to grow. To have energy. It's a, it's a, it's a, to be in the sunlight is a form of, of gaining energy, man. Vitamin D. Without it, we'd be weak. We'd be dying. We'd, everything would wither away. You know? I mean, you got life over there, like in Antarctica. You got the, the penguins, the polar bears. You know, certain things like that. The most I set them up to live, like, to be that way, man. You know? And there, the sunlight still shines over there. They get the little bit of sunbathing, whatever they need. You know? But it says that we're going to be illuminated, man. I mean, you're going to be made alive. You're going to be knowing things. Give not thy honor to another, nor to, uh, nor the things that are profitable unto thee, to a strange nation. You know, can't cast off, cast off. You know that this 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 truth, man. You know, we can't cast it off to this nation, to these people. You know, to these women, to these children, to these to these jobs, man. To family, we got to keep these garments, man. These we be found naked. It says, Oh Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. That's right, man. So we should be happy because we have the, the, the understanding of Yahweh Bashem al man. You know? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, the strength of thy salvation, man. We may not be happy outwardly, you know, but mentally we know that we have something that, that has... Um, has weight to it that has a promise to it you know out here nothing's guaranteed man these vehicles this this this, this the, the federal reserve note the jobs none of that is 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 is, is, is sure man you know they can get rid of you they can do whatever they want your car will break down or they could repossess your car because you don't have the ability to pay your payment no more you can get into a, a car accident and total your vehicle and that's it it's done but this is that thing that nobody can take away from us. Only we as individuals can fail, man. And it will be stripped away. And none of us want that, man. We want to continue to, to defend the gospel, to preach the gospel. You know? Alright. Get another one. Finish that one up here in uh, Philippians. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 9, and I'm going to start at verse 13. Do, do you not know that they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple? And they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar. Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which pre preach the gospel should live of the gospel. Okay? So it, it, we have to live the gospel, man. We have to be walking and written epistles upon our heart, man. You know? But I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things that I should be so done unto me for it were better for me to die than that any man should take my glory void for though I preach the gospel I have nothing to glory of for necessity is laid upon me yea woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel See? and the word preach goes back to the word prophesy because it's, same, it's the same meaning man you're preaching you're heralding of, of, of future events, things to come to pass, man. You know? Or you're, you're correcting, you're rebuking, whatever the case may be, man. We're all speaking on behalf of prophecy. The law, statutes, and commandments, man. If you how about Shema was shot. We have nothing else here on this side, man. We have nothing here, man. I'm read that again. Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel okay 
for if I do this thing willingly, I, I have a reward. You see? We have to do this thing willingly and in love, man. You know? Not forced. Not, not uh, uh, somebody always holding your hand to do it. You know? You got to be hungry, man. <laughs> I'm going to read this. It's a short script, but it's still a beautiful scripture, man. Because when you go into it, it has, you have to have uh, an, ardent, an ardent spirit, man. Meaning that you have to be urgent. You have to uh, have a, an eagerness to, 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 to do this, to, to eat this roll. This is Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Man. You know? You have to be hungry for this. You have to be on fire, man. You know? You have to be having a, a, a you know, a zeal. Hungry. That's a figure of speech, man. For so you shall be filled. Man. Like I said, that love, you go over here to the, uh, the prologue of Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, Whereas many and great things have been delivered unto us by the law and the prophets, and by others that have followed their steps. See? For the which things Israel ought to be commended for learning and wisdom, and whereof not only the reader must needs become skillful themselves, but also they that desire to learn be able to profit them which are without both by speaking and writing. My grandfather, Yahweh Shai, when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and other books of our fathers and had gotten their good judgment, was drawn on also with it with himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to these things. See? So you have to uh, be addicted to this truth, man. Okay? Hungry for it. That's, that's the, uh, uh, the one that preaches it in love. Because the one that is in love with something is that you have, you have a, 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 this, this tie to it. You know? You have this commitment to it. Okay? To love something is an action word. You know? It's a passion. It says, to the intent that those which are desirous, you have to desire, desirous to learn and are addicted to those to these things, might profit much more in living according to the law. Wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words see you know we ain't we ain't gonna be perfect in, in the things that we speak or or uh, uh we don't we're not gonna give a hundred percent breakdown of a certain topic or whatever but we're gonna we're gonna get to the point you know we're gonna make known the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Rashad and Lord willing Yahweh Shai reveals those mysteries unto us the scriptures say he reveals the mysteries unto the prophets man you have to have a ready mind. You have to have a mind that is capable of retaining this truth, man. Because if you're living in constant wickedness and darkness, being in, in darkness, it's a figure of speech, being in the world, you know, being up your woman's ass or, or always at your job and focus about making money, this this, this truth ain't going to re, uh, uh, re, uh, reside in you, man. It ain't going to remain in you. Because all you're thinking about is the world. You're thinking about, like I said, women, money, you know. Your house, your car, your kids, your 401k, how good you can be, uh, get in with the uh, your manager. You know, being a brown noser all your life, uh, Uncle Tom, Uncle Tomahawk. You got a lot of those out here, man. They're not focused on the scriptures. They're not serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh They serve a white Jesus, Cesar Borgia, who they call Jesus Cristo. The same Jesus that put them in slavery, man by the Spaniards, the conquistadores, okay? 
that's who you serve. We don't serve that power, man. We serve Yahweh Shai, who he is a humble spirit, man. He's a meek spirit. And it said, he said his burden is, is, not, is not heavy, his burden is light, man. But when he comes back, he's coming back, not as a man, he's coming back as a, as a, as a, as a, uh, a force that is not to be reckoned with, man. Okay? And that's what we push, that's what we teach. Why? Because that's what the Bible says. It's not just all about being at peace with your neighbor. It's, it's, it's greater things than that. Because we have thousands upon thousands of people out here that believe in something that is not according to this prophecy. Man. That's just part of it. We just say work no ill toward your neighbor. We know that. We practice that all the time. We don't cause no harm to nobody. We just read the Bible and let the Bible do its job, man. And the, the, the scripture is what cuts people, man. Bruises them. Fucks them up mentally, spiritually. Like I said, this word is either going to make you or it's going to break you, man. That's all it's going to do. Right? I'm going to read this one again in 1 Corinthians 9 and 17. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Then you're going to have, you're gonna have that, that, uh, that part of management. You're going to have a higher job, man. You're going to have more bestowed upon you. What is, what is my reward then? Verily that, when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Yahweh Shah Mashiach without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Okay. You gotta be humble, man. Defend the gospel, whatever it may be. You know, you got that stupid, that dumbass individual talking about that John, John the Baptist, John the Baptist, and uh, who was John the Baptist? I forget the other man, the other brother that was in, that, that they were never in the truth. How were they? In, how how weren't they in the truth? The scriptures say, prophesy in part. We know in part. You know, you read Hebrews chapter eleven, the last verse. It tells you that that uh they 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 they, they followed. They they waited for the promise to come, but they didn't receive it. What are you talking about? What they had was a hundred percent. What we have is a hundred percent. They knew the name. They knew Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They knew that. that's the Paleo Hebrew man. They knew that. They knew the Messiah, man. They knew the Hamashiach. You got these bug outs, man. Just want to talk shit. That's all they do. You know? Let me get this other one. Second Timothy's uh, chapter two, verse twenty-four: And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance, they uh, to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive. At, at, at his will, man. And how are you taking captive at his will, man? By by uh uh being affiliated with the, with with the uh, the world what the world puts out, man. You know, covetousness, you know, idolatry, adultery, you know, idol worship. You know, you got a lot of people that worship these celebrities, musicians. You know. You got a lot of stuff that goes on. That's how you, you you're taking that uh, you're, you're taking captive at his will, man. Because you submit to his his uh, his his dainties. You submit to his uh, his trickeries. You know his tricks. Right? Scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. The elect are not ignorant to Satan's devices. They know 
when something is, is being trying to be put on them. When something is set there to, to distract them. A lot of these people don't, man. That's why we come out here telling them the things that everything here is evil. Everything's jacked up, man. The world lies in lies in wickedness, man. The whole world. And everybody's waxing worse and worse, man. Like I said, I'm a witness to this city. This city is straight fucking trash, man. I hate this goddamn city, man. I can't wait for Yahweh Bashimel to destroy this place, man. To see this, that, that look on those goddamn people's face, man. They're gonna have that, that stupid look on their face, you know what I mean? You know, you, you know before they, they, they uh, right, right before that pain sets in, they, when they get struck, they have that stupid look on their face. All this is gonna go away, man. All the pride, all this shit's gonna go away, man. Cause that shit's hateful before y'all about Shana And that's one of the biggest things. That's what it is, man, at the end of the day. You know? Around the family, we break this one out first. This is a uh, Sirach 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the most high and man. And by both, the one commit iniquity. You know? So pride is hateful before a man and the most high. Man. You know? And by and by both, does one commit iniquity. That's right. That's what people be doing, man. It's, they don't even, they don't care, man. People out here don't give a shit no more, man. You know? Like I said, when, from, from, from the elderly all the way to the children, man. You know? And that's the truth. You got some, some bugged out people out in the world, man. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. See? And that's what the angels of the Lord are doing. That's what we're doing too. You know? It says... And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Why? Because they're wicked, man. They're evil. They're fucked up. The Lord told us these things were gonna come, man. People are proud. People are, are, are into self worship. You know, their 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 love is of their own selves, man. They love hearing themselves talk. They don't give a shit about anybody else but themselves, man. Some of them will tell you straight up too. You know, I had, you know, you know, we all know we had those those good friends we came up with, you know, in our junior high years, high school, in our twenties, mid twenties, thirties, you know. And then, you know, something happened to where y'all you, you, stop talking, shit like that. You come back to, uh, you know, meeting them up, meeting up with them again. Well, there's one individual, man, you know, you know, he considered me like if I, you know, we were brothers and shit like that. I never said that, you know, because when I say shit, I mean it, you know what I mean? So I'm always watching people. I don't just go out there and say shit. I don't care how many times they tell me, oh, I love you. And, all right, that's cool, man. It's all good, you know. But uh, anyways, he, he, he ended up reaching out to me, you know, maybe a two, like a year ago. And he was, he was telling me, man, you know, I, I was like, hey, man, what's up? You know, we ran into we ran into each other on the road, you know, because we both stayed out there. He stayed out in Odessa. I stayed out in Midland, came back to San Angelo. We ran, each other, we ran into each other on the highway coming this way. And uh, ended up, you know, he changed numbers. He called me. He was telling me shit about money, man. He was telling me that, yeah, hey, man, if you ain't about money, I don't fuck with you. I don't. It's, it's all about making money. Man. And I just said, I just listened to him, and I was like, man, you know. So pretty much he was saying that it don't matter what type of friendship, what type of person you were, or who you are. You could be a good person, but if you ain't about money, he ain't, he ain't with you. We ain't talking, you know. That's basically what he was uh, conveying to me, you know telling me about the shit that he has going on. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. You know? But anyways, 
that just that was I mean that's one of many things of many a small thing of many great things to show you to prove to you that um how people are out here man nobody gives a fuck this is first Ezra chapter 4 verse um uh, 37 wine is wicked the king is wicked women are wicked all the children of men are wicked and such are all their wicked works and there is no truth in them and their unrighteousness also they shall perish as for the truth it endureth and is always strong it liveth and conquereth forevermore with her there is no accepting of persons or rewards but she doeth the things that are just and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things and all men do well like of her works neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness and she is a strength kingdom power and majesty of all ages bless the power of truth Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you see everything is, is fucked up out here man. but that's why the Lord is going to kill a lot of people you know this right Sirach 10 and 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another and that's plain you know because of pride man it's being being rebellious disobedient you know that's what that's what gets a lot of people killed man because whenever you start having that stuff pushed into a city or whatever that's when you start seeing a lot of uh, criminal activity increase, man. You know? Because the Most High is raining down judgment here. Matter of fact, since I said that, let me bring it out here in the book of 2nd Ezra. Get it out real quick. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 18 for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid See? because of pride man you got a lot of proud proud individuals here in San Angelo man. all of America the proud people man and then they're gonna get away from 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 having that type of spirit that attitude man thinking they're untouchable you know they can say whatever they want they can act however they want they can buddy up with 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 the uh, managers or lawyers court court uh, judges sheriffs that they're gonna get away from from the judgment man, because of their injustice you ain't gonna get away from that man the most high sees and knows everything man whether you want to believe it or not Everything is being for, in, in, in brought into fruition here before your eyes, man. None of you people can, can explain why the things that are happening in the earth. You always have to resort to global warming and shit like that. No, this is prophecy, man. This is written in, the, in this, what, you call, what you people call the Holy Bible, which is the Lashon Kedah, the Holy Tongue, man. Okay? Or the... Uh, uh, Rakakwadash, man, the Holy Spirit. You know? People don't even know, man. There's a heavy judgment about to come, man. And it's it's slowly but surely coming. Alright? It says, 2 Edges 15 and 19, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation. Okay, and that's what's coming, man. Second Ezra chapter sixteen, uh, verse thirty-five. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of Yahweh. Behold, the word of Yahweh receive it. Believe not the gods of whom Yahweh spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh, and are not slack. Right. So the plagues are drawn nigh, man. Okay. That's why, like I said, death, death is a is a plague. 
okay? And, and death comes in different forms, whether it be by a man, whether it be through cancer, AIDS, you know, STD, okay? Or some type of uh, bacteria or fungus, infection, uh, whether it be this new thing that's going on over there in China with the coronavirus, okay? These are plagues that are being sent to appease the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And it's not going to be enough. It's not enough. Because these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay? Just like when Moses when, uh, delivered the Israelites through, 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 through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh he sent out 10 plagues and destroyed the Egyptians, man. 10 plagues were sent out and they destroyed the Egyptians. Until Pharaoh was finally, when he took away the firstborn, right? Let, let the Israelites go, man. That's what's happening to America, all over the earth. Them same plagues are being pushed out, man. People think it's a joke, man. That's fine. You know, we're, all, we're only out here for, scriptures say, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. And to feed the, feed the flock. He that had an ear, let him hear. He that, you know, he, he, he that had an ear, let him hear. He that hear, let him hear. He that forbear, let him forbear. You know what I mean? And we don't, we know that only the elect are going to hear. They're going to listen. Everybody else is going to reject this word. Man. That's why they're going to get caught outside in the cold, man. You know? It says, 2nd Ezra 16 and 38, As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, Within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and the and sorrows shall come upon it on every side, man. Every side of the earth. See, sorrows coming around on every side of the earth. The beginning of sorrows everywhere, man. People over there in China are catching hell, you know? Now it's making its way over here to America. You got the people in Mexico catching hell. And every city and state here within America are catching hell. You know? Why? Because of, because of the pride, man. Because of great pride within this place. That's why these people are bugging out. You know? On every side, on every side is where these plagues are going around, man. On every side of the earth, from one, from from the west to the east, okay. Which we, we're all over here on the west, North America, and you got over there the east, Europe, China, all that over there where Israel is, all that, man. These plagues are being sent out, man. There's no new thing underneath the sun. It happened in the time of Moses, man. Jeremiah 15 and 2 and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith the Lord such as are for the death to death and such as for the sword to the sword and such as are for famine to the famine and such as are for the captivity to captivity and I will appoint over them four kinds saith Yahweh the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy, man. You know? That's what it is. Let me get this other one real quick. I think I made mention about You know, we all over here on North America and over there, you know, with the deliverance. This is uh, Jeremiah 16 and uh, 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. 
and will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. See? So this is gonna, this is, this is like another deliver. This is gonna, this is another deliverance. What is this? In the book of Revelation, says in the last days that they're gonna rise up two prophets, Elijah and Moses, man, which is representation of the northern and southern kingdom, man. And they're going to be delivered out of this place. This is one big giant. Well, scriptures say uh, uh, Great Babylon is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. Man. Egypt. The house of bondage. You know? But the only way we're going to be delivered and we're going to uh, remain in Yahweh Bashem al is by defending the gospel. Man. Scriptures say, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for you. You got to strive for this truth. We gotta be passionate for it. We gotta defend the gospel. Feed the flock. Feed the sheep as, as Yahweh Shai told Peter, man. Because our reward is there, man. We're going to receive a reward. You know? But we have to remain within this truth. We gotta remain doing the work. Second Ezra, uh, Second Ezra seven and nineteen, and he said unto me, "There is no judge above the Most." Well, I'll start at verse twenty. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. Uh, for Yahweh hath given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came. And what they should do to observe to avoid punishment. See? Because these things that are going to come into the earth, that are here in the earth, even though it's just being here in the condition that we're in, is a punishment. Right? Because he told us what we should do to avoid these things, man. In the book of Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 and 1 And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy power would set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Right? Only if we obey the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all these blessings will come upon us. But because of our disobedience, the curses were placed upon us, which are, are uh, 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 forms of punishment, man. Which goes to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe.